Hi, I'm Shikha. You're watching this video from JustTutors.com, and today we are going to learn about square and move pattern. So, in this video, we are going to learn about square number and its properties. So, here there is a warm up for you. What you can do, just pause the video, try these two questions. Assuming that you have done it, now we can discuss the answer. So, here we need to find the square of 1. So, square of 1 is 1 itself and here you need to write the square number of 5 so 5 times 5 which will give you 25 that's the square number and this is the answer so if you got them as the answer that's really amazing because that's the right answer so let us learn more about it in this video so here square numbers and its property so why we are learning about square numbers so for designing purpose square number is really of great importance you should know about them and there are many other more purpose so here square of a number means to multiply a number by itself like you can see the example 1 times 1 which will give you 1 2 times 2 4 3 times 3 9 so here 1 4 9 are square of 1 2 and 3 and here natural numbers that are square of number is said to be perfect square so let us see more about perfect square in this slide so here 16 is a perfect square of 4 because 4 times 4 will give you 16 25 is a perfect square of 5 because 5 times 5 will give you 25 so every square number is also a perfect square number so you can think of many such numbers like there is 100 which is perfect square of 10 so you can think of many such numbers these all are perfect squares now here let's see this property of square number so if a number has 1 or 9 in its unit place then it square will end in 1 so here square of 11 is 121 square of 21 is 441 square of 19 is 361 so have you wondered why it's 1 in the unit place so let's see that so 1 times 1 will give you 1 and 9 times 9 which will give you 81 is the answer but in 81 you will see 1 at the unit place so since they both have 1 at the unit place so square of them also have 1 at the unit place so this is the property 1 now let us see this property so here when a square number ends in 6 so the number whose square it is will have either 4 or 6 at the unit place so it's again the same because 4 times 4 will give you 16 and 6 times 6 will give you 36 so you can see in both these number you will see 6 at the unit place so that means a square of 4 and 6 will always have 6 at the unit place so now we can see this property here so it's here if a number having even numbers of 0 then the square root of that number will have just half number of 0 so here 100 there are two zeros and it's a square of 10 so in 10 there's just a half of two zero that is only one zero so now we can think of one more example so suppose I'm going to write a number for you so here we can see there are four zeros so in the square root of this number we will have only two zero and since it's 25 so 25 is square of 5 so it will be 500 as the answer so this is again the property of square number and here you can also see since there are two zeros so it's one zero at the square root and 36 is the square of 6 so we are going to write 6 there now here we move to a practice time so let's try question number 1 so which digit is at the unit place in the square of 69 so we can see 9 is at the unit place and square of 9 is 81 where 1 is at the unit place so here the answer is 1 so now what you can do just pause the video try the rest of them assuming that you have done it we can check the answer now so you can check your answer from this slide and if you got them correctly that's really amazing you can call your parents and show your amazing work to them so thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit justtutors.com.